why don't we all just fall into the black hole? Why isn't the universe just getting gobbled up by black holes? Well, so it's actually not that easy to fall into a black hole. You would think that, like, I mean, if, you, if, so if you're going straight toward the black hole, then you will fall into the black hole. But um, one, of the, one of the most important processes in the universe has to do with angular momentum. So angular momentum is like, um, if something is spinning, it wants to keep spinning. So that's, that's what angular momentum is, basically. And things that are on an orbit, where they're going around, you know, like the, the moon is going around the Earth, that's, that's got some kind of angular momentum. And it's hard to, to lose that angular momentum. It's hard to make it stop that rotation. Um, and, uh, and this happens in the universe, where, where if you're orbiting something, you need, you need like a kick to get you to fall into it. Um, yeah. So it, the moon is going to keep orbiting the Earth for a long, long time. Um, and you would need to like bang something into the moon to get it to not stay on that orbit because it's got that angular momentum. Um, and so if so, like if our sun today turned into a black hole, uh, the event horizon would not be would not extend out to the Earth. It would be really really tiny. Actually, it would be within where the the, the radius of the sun is right now. Um, and so unless you were really close to that event horizon, um, your orbit around the sun would would stay the same. It would not change because the orbit just cares about the mass. Uh, the mass of the sun wouldn't change if it turned into a black hole. It would still be it would be a black hole of the mass of the sun, um, and so we just keep going around. Um, and that happens with all the black holes in the universe. If something's going around it, unless there's some kind of dispersive process, unless there's something that that takes away the angular momentum, the energy of the stuff going around um, the black hole, stuff doesn't fall in. Okay. So then, <laughs> how big can a black hole get? We have this over, in fact, we just had a random conversation at the bar, which was cool, yeah. uh, about a recent discovery that I'm going to just have flash up here, but here, um, led by uh, well, PhD mate Remco. So, a super massive, over massive in his case, black yeah. holes. So, black holes. Um, so once you have a black hole, unless it evaporates, it can't go away. And if it's big enough, it would take so long to evaporate, that's not going to happen within the age of the universe. Um, and uh, like what I said before, this 10 to the 15 gram black holes, primordial black holes, and once the size of the mountain, those, if they formed at the very beginning of the universe, they'd only be evaporating today. So that's 13.7 billion years. It's a long time. So b anything bigger than that, won't have evaporated, won't be anywhere close to evaporating. Okay. So these things stick around, and if the black holes that exist can uh, stay around, sometimes because everything attracts everything, you know, galaxies come together, uh, things fall into galaxies, you can get black holes merging. So you can get two black holes come together before a bigger black hole. And that can happen over and over again. You know, black holes that pull gas and dust into themselves, mm -hmm. the accretion, um, and that happens in the centers of galaxies. Um, so Which is incidentally how we know these black holes are there. These are the most luminous objects. You literally, quite literally, see these accretion events yeah, yeah. on so the other side of the universe. Yeah, you have you have gas and dust falling into black holes, and you have magnetic fields, and they create jets, and you have jets of material coming out of the holes of these disks, and then that that creates um, these. Quasars, which is highly stellar objects, we could talk about those another time, but they're yeah, these they're huge awesome. beacons of energy in the, in the universe. Um, so, uh, so black holes, the black hole in the center of our galaxy, so that, there, there are supermassive black holes in the center of basically every galaxy we've looked at. Um, and the black hole in the center of our galaxy is like a million solar masses. Yeah, it's order. pretty small. So it's around a million solar masses, a million times the mass of the sun, which is, which is small for a supermassive black hole. Um, we have seen supermassive black holes that are billions of masses, um, which is really big. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, and we don't really know how they form. We, it's hard to figure out exactly how to get all that matter into the black hole. Yeah. Um, because angular momentum, it's hard to get stuff with the black hole. So yeah, I, I think, think I think that's the uh, yeah. So <laughs> the, the music is starting. Yeah, we're gonna have to wrap this up. I've just but, finished my drink as well, so yeah. it's too hot to stay out. Yeah. So thanks for thanks for watching and uh, keep twittering us questions, and we'll get to them as quick as we can. We'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye.